so I tried uh, doing a $1 makeup challenge and this is how it turned out. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I cannot stop staring at myself because I look a little bit crazy without lashes. But today we are doing the $1 makeup challenge. I don't know what to call this, but everything that I have on my face right now was only a dollar. I was actually shook at a lot of these things and you will see my reaction throughout the video. If you guys are new, hello, welcome. My name is Karina, also known as OMG Lashes. I don't wanna ramble on too much, so if you guys wanna see these products in action, then just keep on watching. Don't mind my red face. I literally was just like popping little granitos that I saw on my face bad bad habits i know i want to show you guys this cute little headband it is also from the websites that i'm about to talk to you guys about so i have been wanting one of these for a long time and this is like a silicone material so what you do is once you wash your beauty blender you actually just place it in here and it holds it for you it does have a little hole that way it vents out and it doesn't create any mold. This one was $1 and this beauty sponge was also $1. So first things first, let's start with the primer. I got this Wonder Skin Mattifying Primer by the brand AOA. Ooh. So that is the consistency of the primer. Actually, this feels a little bit more like a moisturizer. It doesn't really feel like a primer, but it claims to be mattifying, so we shall see. For foundations, I picked up the Santi Flawless Perfect Finish Foundation, and I got two shades. This one is super pale. This is not gonna match me. This one might be a better match. Let's let's open them. This is really really light. If I can find the receipt of what color this was, I will let you guys know. But that is it. Obviously, this isn't going to match me whatsoever. Let's give this one a shot. And again, no names on these, which is really a bummer because it's like, how the hell am I supposed to know what shade I am? I went ahead and wet this beauty blender and I do have to say that it did get pretty big. I just don't know how well it's going to perform. So there is some of the foundation. You can definitely see that I have it right here. I wouldn't say that it's a full coverage foundation by any means. I don't like that this beauty sponge holds so much water. Like I can feel how much water this is retaining, if that makes sense, which is making the foundation go on a lot more sheer. I had to bring it all the way down to my neck because A, this foundation doesn't match me. B, it has pink undertones, which I totally don't have. And third of all, it is very sheer. So I am not loving this foundation. I don't like how it feels on my skin. It feels very heavy. Let's move on to concealer. I am going to test the Wonder Cover HD Concealer, again, from that same brand, AOA. The only thing that I have to say that I don't like about this website is that a lot of their stuff is sold out, like the really popular, cool stuff that I wanted to try. Most of it all was sold out. This concealer is a little bit hard to blend out. As you can see, there's like a part here where it's not blending out, but whatever, I'm just gonna let it be. I just noticed that I have a whole bunch of products that are this brand. I really didn't mean to do that. This is also by AOA. It is the setting powder in soft light. Oh my gosh, look at this. This just exploded all over me. This is actually not too bad. It's setting the skin pretty nicely. I usually always like to bake my forehead because I do have some little wrinkles right here. And this foundation and the concealer is making this part look so cakey. The one thing that I am super excited about is their brushes because I ordered a set. This set was only $10 and it came with a whole bunch of super neat brushes that I know I'm definitely going to use. The quality honestly seems 
super bomb. This is the brush set that I got. Don't look at my nails, they're disgusting. I'm just going to use this big fluffy brush to take off the powder. Are you guys ready for Easter? I have not gotten my daughter a basket. I need to get on it. I'm such a procrastinator. I leave everything last minute. I want to know what you guys are doing for Easter. Like, give me some ideas. I usually take her Easter egg hunting, but I kind of want to do something in my house this year. Do you guys have any games or suggestions for kids? Let us just know. I'm going to move on. Oh my gosh, I cannot stop looking at my skin. This is the Malibu Glitz Face Powder. Oh, you know what? I just remembered because I picked this one up as a bronzer. So I guess we're gonna use this one to set our skin. This is in the shade medium. It really looks like a bronzer to me, but. Oh my God, what did I do? I was not expecting that. I'm gonna look like an Oompa Loompa. Oh my gosh. Now I have to do it to the rest of my skin because then there's going to be that big old blotch of whatever that was. I think I just messed up my whole makeup look. Oh well, we're going to keep on going. This palette seems pretty legit, honestly, so I'm excited to test it on my actual face. This is by Amuse Cosmetics. That's, that's. This is what it looks like. So it has a contour, a bronzer, and two highlights. I'm going to use this brush from that same AOA brand. We're going to contour. This side of my skin just looks so blotchy and uneven. That face powder just messed it up for me. I'm going to move on to blush. This one looks pretty promising. It is also by the brand Amuse Cosmetics and this is number three. These are definitely my types of blushes, like very warm toned. We're going to use this broken one and I'm gonna take this brush again. Oh wow, that's really pretty. So there's a highlight, what do you guys think? I know it's a little too light for my complexion, but overall quality, I think I like this one as well. We're going to move on to the brows, and I picked up again from AOA, the Wonder Brow and the shade Ebony. This to comb out my brows, and then I'm gonna use this one. <sighs> I'm not a big fan of these. I like my Anastasia uh, brush, but we're going to try this. So far, I like this. I don't know if it's the brush or if it's a product, but I have a feeling that it's the brush. Um, I don't like it as much, but I actually like the product. It's good. I'm going to go back with this little brush and just go through my brows. They actually don't look too bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to take this first shade of the palette. So there is the first color. It's actually not horrible. I thought it was going to be very chalky, but let's move on to this color at the top right here. It almost seems that the more that I blend this color out, it almost shears. It goes a little bit sheer. I'm gonna go back into the palette and pick up this shade right here. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow blended. Um, it's very pigmented as you can see it stands out a lot but it's just not blending all the way on this side right here it's kind of like bunching up do you guys see that I'm gonna go back into this little shade and we're just going to apply it all over the lid it looks really pretty and pretty promising so I'm just going to spray my brush that's actually a really pretty color I like how metallic it is so let's move on to eyeliner i am feeling this look not entirely but it's not bad so for the eyeliner again from the brand amuse this is what the liquid liner looks like we're going to take it out and hopefully it's not one of those like hard tips i have not been wearing eyeliner for the past month every now and then and i feel like i'm a newbie this little wand looking thing is making it so easy
to do my eyeliner. Seriously, it's like doing the job for me. <gasps> I like this. So there is the wing. I have a feeling that this isn't going to be a matte eyeliner. I think it's going to be one of those shiny ones. And I do not like shiny eyeliners. I like mine to be pretty matte. For mascara, I wanted to try this Starry Mascara. I just picked it up because the packaging was cute. We're just going to apply this to the lashes. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am getting super oily. Can you guys see the shine? And I think it has to do with the primer. My skin just looks a hot mess, honey. To finish off this look, I picked up two lipsticks because, again, so many of the ones that I wanted were out of stock. I ended up grabbing this one by the brand Santee. It is a matte liquid lipstick in the shade number 7. That, doesn't, that smells pretty good. But that is not swatching very nicely now this one looks pretty it looks like a nice nude with some peach undertones this one looks a little bit better there it is it's super sheer like you really can't tell that i'm wearing much and i don't know if this is going to stay because it feels very weird on the lips i'm going to apply this to the center so here is the final look i think I hate this. <laughs> I really do like the eyeshadow. I just feel like it's a little bit hard to work with. Um, my brows definitely has to be my favorite thing out of this whole look. I feel really weird without lashes, but um, I didn't buy any, so I have to stick with what I have. This eyeliner is super shiny. It did not dry down to a matte. Overall, I think these products were a fail for me. I liked one or two out of everything. The one thing that I highly recommend are the brushes. I really, really like them. They're very soft. They're easy to work with. You have a whole bunch of really cool brushes to do eyeshadow, face, pretty much anything. It sucks because I was really hoping that these would be like amazing products, hidden gems. Um, there's some of them that are good, some of them that are not. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit more fun, a little bit different. It was definitely a challenge and I like a good challenge. So if you guys want to see anything else, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. I got to go wash this off. Okay, see you guys.